then uh, today we are going to study dilations and we want to know at the beginning what the meaning of dilation. Dilation is a transformation that produce a figure that is the same shape as the original, but not the same size. So we can find the pre-image smaller than the image or vice versa. If the pre-image is smaller than the image, so what happened to the figure? It's enlargement, it becomes bigger. And the opposite, if the pre-image was larger than the pre-image, so the figure, it will be reduction or shrinking. So this is the first part to know what the meaning of dilation. So it is a type of transformations and the same shape, we have same shape, but we have different size. Let's take an example how we are going to draw the dilations or how we are going to determine the or, or, uh, center of dilations and how we will calculate the scale of dilations. In this part, we are going to study or to answer two questions. In front of us, we have two different triangles. We have the smaller triangle and the, the other one is larger than the pre-image. So this is the pre-image and this is the image. How do you know? The first one is A and we can uh, put a dash above A or like complement. So this one is the image of the tri the image of this uh, uh, vertex. Then find the center of dilations. Once you have two different uh, sides, and we have the same shape, so this is a type of transformations which we can call it dilation. How we are going to find the center of dilations? First, we have to determine the corresponding vertices. Where is the corresponding vertices? We have A and we have A prime, and we have B and P prime, and C and C prime. So I'm going to put a sign above A to find the corresponding vertices. And then after that, we will try to connect them together to find the center of dilation. So B and B prime. And then the third one is C and C prime. So in case if you have already the pre-image and the image, and you want to find the center of dilation. So we have to connect the two points together. So we determine already the corresponding vertices, and then I'm going to connect between each two corresponding vertices. So we will start to connect between A and A prime, and then after that, we will connect between B and B prime and then C and C prime. We will note that all three lines, it will intersect at the origin point. So the center of dilation for this question, it will be zero and zero. So we dilate the figure around the origin point. In second part, we want to solve the question about what is the scale factor and how we are going to find the scale factor. We can use the side B, C, B and C prime, B prime. And I will start to count now. C, B consists of two units. And C prime, B prime consists of, let's count together, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will write the ratio between the sides first, C prime, P prime over C, B. So the image over the pre-image. If you want to calculate the scale factor, so we have to write the, the image over the pre-image. So we have six over two, then the scale factor, it will be equal three. If I want to try with another side, I want to check my answer to use another side. So 
So we can use A prime C prime and A C. So A prime C prime line segment over A C line segment. This one, it's zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 over 0, 1, 2, 3. So it will be equal 3. Then the answer, it will be equal 3. So the scale factor for this triangle now, it was 3 and 3, which means the whole scale factor for this question, it will be equal 3. We can also find we can also find the scale factor by using C prime. Then how? You will count to reach the point C or the angle C. 0, 1, 2 and then up 0, 1, 2. And to reach C prime 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you will divide it, x coordinates divided by x coordinates like 6 divided by uh, 2, it will be equal 3. And if you will divide the y coordinates, 6 divided 2 also, it will be equal 3. So we have two different ways to find the scale factor by using the position of the angle or by using the ratio between the two sides. So the scale factor is very important if you want to uh, draw the dilation for any figure. So we have, this is the number line. So in case we have one and before one we have zero and after one we have two. If we have the scale factor more than one, which means the figure, we are going to stretch the figure or we are going to make enlargement. But if the scale is less than one, so we are going to shrink or minimize the figure. So take care about the scale factor. So if K more than one, as I said, so we are going to stretch the figure. So if we will say that uh, uh, the scale uh, more than like three over two, like two, like eight, so the figure we are going to shrink it, uh, so, uh, to uh, stretch it, sorry. But if the scale factor is less than one, like half or third, so we are going to shrink the figure. Let me give you an example. So this one, as I said, K more than one. So the figure will stretch. However, if the scale factor K is less than one, you're making the image smaller. In this case, half as large as the original. Now we can continue to shrink this figure down in size until we reach zero. Now, since a scale factor of zero would completely eliminate the figure, we can say that a scale factor of k that is greater than zero, but less than one, in between zero and one, would represent a shrink where the figure is made smaller in size. So, we can say that the scale factor is zero. The scale factor is between. Okay? The scale factor is between. If the scale factor is one, so the two figures are Congrat. Let me show you an example. So we have now a question, dilate the figure, uh, perform the following dilations on triangle OMG and the scale factor is 2. We can note that the scale factor here is K more than 1, which means we are going to shrink the figure. Now we have to find the point first, then LO was negative 4 and 1, LM was 3 and 2, LG is 2 and negative 2. Don't forget that we have already the scale was 2. So we are going to work with the X coordinates and Y coordinates for each one of them, which means we will multiply now L2 and we will go step by step for all and we will find the image for each point. Then negative four times two, it will be negative eight. One times two, it will be equal eight. 
3 times 2, 6, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 2, 4, negative 2 times 2 equal negative 4. Now we have the points for the image. We will go to the coordinates and then we will plot the points and then we will connect between the points. What do you notice here? The figure is stretch. So we stretch the figure. So in this case, we can say stretch because already the scale factor was two and two is more than one. So the figure is stretch. This is the second type of uh, dilations when we have the scale is less than one. And don't forget that if the scale is less than one to the, the figure, it, it will shrink. Or we can say minimize. We have the original figure, which it was M negative nine and three, three L A three and three, L S six and negative six, and H negative six and negative six. We will multiply by third for each one, then M prime, it will be negative three and uh, three and one. L A prime, it will be one and one. L S prime, it will be two and negative two. L H prime, it will be negative two and negative two. We will go to the coordinates and we are going to plot the points and then we will connect between them. What do you notice here with the original and the image, the figure is shrink. Why? Because the scale factor was less than one. So don't forget that the scale factor, it will be shrink or uh, enlargement. Okay. 